we're just going to get our hymnals and we're going to sing from that and find a song from the hymnals. Get the hymnals. Flip it to 162, one of the ones that um, <coughs> um, a, whole, a very old song where back in the day, to pass me not a Jenko Saber. Back, you know, sing this. Pass me not a Jenko Saber. Hear my humble cry, while and others that were calling, do not pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my humble, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art called, all in, do not pass me by. Let me at that throne of mercy find a sweet relief. Kneeling there in deep contrition. Help my unbelief. Savior, Savior, hear my humble and hear my humble cry while I'm not our calling. Do not pass me by. Trusting only in thy merits, would I see thy face? Heal my wounded, broken spirit, save me by thy grace.
said, do not pass me by. One more time, you're going to say, Savior. Savior. My Lord, hear my humble, hear my humble cry. While I'm others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Hallelujah, hallelujah. While I'm others thou art calling, do not pass me by. That's some old songs, you know, those old songs are the ones that get to you right here. Sensavia. Blessed Savior, hear my humble, hear my humble cry, while I'm others thou art calling. Go on. Do not pass me by. I want to say and sing, say, Savior, my Savior. Hear my humble, I hear my humble cry, while another star I call in, say do not pass me by, I want to say, 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 Savior, I want to say, Savior, my Lord, hear my humble, I hear my humble cry, while another star I call in, they do not pass me by. I say, do not pass me by. Don't, Lord, do not pass me by. Please, Lord, come on, no. Do not pass me by. One more time, we're going to say, do not pass me by. Hallelujah, you're worthy, Lord. 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 You're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We call evangelists to um, y'all read a word. And then we're going to call minister to pray for the service on this morning. Amen? Savior, blessed Savior, hear my humble, I hear my humble cry, while another's downward calling. Do not pass me by. Do not pass me by. Hallelujah. Blessed Savior, blessed Savior. Psalm 
Nor the owl that flyeth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thou habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, and if thou dash thy foot against the stone. They shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thy trample under foot. Because he has set his love upon me, there will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 16 will last him all. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's the reading of the word. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. I said, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. 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 Okay, at this time, we're going to go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, we're just thanking you today, Father God, for who you are, God. Yes, God. God, we're just thanking you, God, for allowing us to come into this place today, Father God. Yes, God. Father God, have your way in this place today. God, be, be with each and every person in their respective place, Father God. Yes, God. Father God, we just ask right now that you heal the sick, Lord God, those who are out there who are not able to come here today, Father God. Father God, we just ask that you be with our pastor today, Lord God. Bless this man today, Lord God. Yes, God. Give him a word. Give him encouragement, Lord God. Let yes, him know God. that you are here with him, Lord God. Let him know that you are in control of the words that are coming out of his mouth to give to your people, Father God. Yes, God. Father God, help us as we listen to the word that he's going to give to us, Father God. Help us to have the heart to want to learn, Lord God, to want to learn more about you, Father God. Father God, we just thank you for everything that you're doing, God. God, we thank you for our first lady. Lord God, bless her and her place of work, Father God. Yes, God. God, we ask that we're able to bring people out to come out, Lord God, who's able to come out and to hear a word from you, Father God. Father God, we bless every person that walks through those doors today, Father yes, God. God. Let there be no distractions today from the children, from the head on down to the children, Father yes, God. God. Father, let each and every one of us be obedient, Father God. Father God, as we go into our worship, to just let us just be free in the spirit, Lord God, wanting to just relax, God, knowing that we are in your house, and we come here to worship you, God. We're not here to look at one another, God, but we're just here to lift up your name today, Lord God, because it's all about you, Father God. And God, we're just thanking you, God, and we love you. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray all these things. Amen. 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 Go into a worship this morning. Uh, we're gonna go back to some of our songs that we had before. Mm -hmm. You know, we get familiar. They were these songs right here. They're so um, invoking. They they want you to, to these songs make you want to go into worship and to give God some praise. You know, this morning I woke up and I and just for the life of me, uh, I got up this morning and I felt. Not heavy, nor burdensome. I felt so light in my spirit. And for the life of me, I can't tell you why I feel so light in my spirit, but for, for, for some apparent reason, I just came in this morning, and even though I was rushing through and coming in, and I was rushing, I just came in and I just had this just flow, just flow, just flow, just flow. It's light. You heard it? You hear what I said? Light. Light in the words that there's no heaviness, heaviness of spirit, no, and it, and so when it when it's light, it allows you to give God praise and to worship Him, because when we are heavy, we can't praise Him. Ah, He said, "For the garments of heaviness."
put on the garments of praise. For heaviness is to put on the garments of praise. And see, when, when we ourselves invoke God present with praise, then it becomes even lighter. And that's why he says to us, take on what? Is to take what? Is yoke upon us and learn of me. For he said, my yoke is easy and my burdens is light. When he's talking about yokes, yoke in the form of which that goes around the, the animal's neck, the, the oxen's neck, to pull the to pull and to tread the uh, the ground so this way they can put corns and plant forth. But he's talking about his yoke. I mean, there is a yoke, no matter how you look at it, no matter how you flip it, whether you're with the devil or you're with God, you still got a yoke. <laughs> yeah. So if you make your choice, then something, oh, well, I'll be neutral. I'm going to stay in the middle. There's no middle ground. There's, there's actually no middle ground. There's nothing that you can say, okay, I'm going to stay in the middle. I'll be okay. No, 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 no. It's either you're going to be with the devil or you're going to be with God. It, it, no matter how you turn it and how you flip it. And because we desire that we want to be with God, this, so we got to take on his yoke. And when, well, when we take on his yoke and when we come into his house and come to his presence, but then we come in with singing. Ah, uh, know he that the Lord, he is God, and he had made us, and we are the sheep of his pasture. Can I just say it so Hey, 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 hey. See, that's why we come together. We come together to rejoice in the Lord. And I said again, I say what? Rejoice. Ah, Jesus. Because God is an awesome God. So we're going to sing some some, so, some, some songs where it's okay. When we're talking about rejoicing songs, you know, see, so you got to get to moving. See that? Woo! In the Holy Ghost, we're going to rejoice, right? Ah, are you ready? He's the fire. I know he is. Ah, see, what is he doing? Burning in my soul. He's the power. Oh, yes. Burning. Working in my life. Yeah. He's the fire. See, you got to put the mask again. Ah! 
That's in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, because you know Jesus. No matter what you think of, He can do it for you again and again. He did it again. Ah. Hey, hey, hey.
Saying the wrong words, but we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. I think that's the right person. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you are here. Amen. You're going to be seated in his presence. I just want to thank God this morning. The new people God came out this morning to fellowship with us. Man, I was talking this morning, and uh, I've seen how the move, God is moving in this place where his things are concerned. Sometimes we, what we do, we, we allow what's around us to dictate to us what we're going to do as people. But... When you know who you are, as the songwriter said, I know who I am. I know who I am, and being knowing who I am makes such a big and a great difference. Because when you know who you are, no one can, can tell you or dictate to you what should, they, what should be done and how should it be done because you have that self-confidence or that knowledge of who you are. For the, most, for the most part, when you look at things, you will find that what causes most people not to know who they are is because of insecurities, self-esteem. Those are some of the things that actually causes someone to not know who they are. But if I can elaborate just a little bit before I go into my message, because my message is actually coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40. And, and this morning, I'm going to talk to you from a topic called, Your Warfare is Accomplished. Knowing who you are makes such a big difference. Because when someone will look at you and say, you're ugly, you're fat, you're short, you're too tall, you're too skinny, you... Uh, you're too black, you're too light. You... There's always something. <laughs> you understand? So what they would do, they would use these um, attributes and descriptive words to describe who you are. But it was told to me, and I understand the concept of it, that once you come out of darkness into his marvelous light, my whole perspective has changed. The writer puts it in this manner. He said, now your royal priesthood. My God, just on that alone, you should be just shouting. Royal what? Priesthood. That means you move from a peasant and poverty to royalty and richness and wealth. Royal priesthood. One writer puts it again. He continued to say, and, and what? A peculiar people. Call for it for a purpose. And that's it to show his life. Call for it to show his life. 
Mm. He will call you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mm. So knowing who you are is so important. Here is Israel during the time of exile going through some traumas and some deliverance in their life. And uh, they were under the scrutiny and also under the, the tyranny of the, the taskmaster. Once again, out of Egypt into another bondage situation. Things are tough. Things are not going in the manner in which it's supposed to. You see, let me say this. Anytime we move from under the covenant, the covering or the covering of God, you're going to go into something which somebody's going to be in charge of you. You're going to be under someone who is going to control you no matter how you look at it. As I said earlier, it's either you're going to be for God or you're going to be for the devil because there's no in-between. A lot of times some of us say, no, you know what, I don't want to be on any side. I'm good. Can I be neutral? <laughs> can I be neutral? Can I be can I just for a moment be neutral? Can I just go into a neutral gear? Nope, you can't go in a neutral gear because there's no neutral gear at all. As we look into the book of Isaiah chapter 40, and, and we're going to look at verse 1. If I can find it, Mr. Bill, we are. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get it from Jeremiah to Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet who was the son of Amos. And Isaiah was a major prophet during the course of the time of uh, the Israelites. And it says in verse 1, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, say it who? The Lord. He said, speak ye what? Comfortable to Jerusalem. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. And that her inequity is pardoned. For she had received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Mm. Uh, here it is. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway. My God, can you see that? For our God. Mm. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and every crooked shall be made straight, and every rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. All flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The, vo the voice said, cry. And he, and he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is as grass. And all goodness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth. And the flower faded because the spirit of the Lord blew it upon it. Surely the people is grass. My God, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The grass withered, the flower faded, but one thing, the word of our God shall stand forever. My God, I'm getting excited all in that. Zion, Hosea, oh Hosea, oh bring, bring us good tidings. Get thee up into the mountain, O oh, Jerusalem, that bring it good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up and be not afraid. Say unto the city of Judah, Behold your God. He coming. Ah, behold your God. Mm. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand and with his arms shall rule for him. Behold, he is reward 
God is with him and is work before him. Oh, hold on. I want to stop for a second. I want to stop. Here is Jerusalem. Here is Judah. Here is Israel. Here is Jacob who is going through some turmoil. Last week I talked about the floodgates are open. Mm. God is going to open the floodgates. When you're going through some turmoil in your life, and it seems like it's going to be a long process. Don't it seem like it's going to be a long process? And you're saying to God, when, God, it's going to be over. I'm here by myself right now. I'm here by myself. But it's all right. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. Uh-uh. But when we are going through things in our life, it is there not to break us, but to make us. Mm. You see, if I'm the clay and he's the potter, can the clay say to the potter, why makest thou me? Mm. That's a sealer on that one. Says something to think about for a second. There are times when I'm going through some turmoils in my life. I say to God, I say, God, why me? Why don't you pick somebody else? Why can't they go through it? But you see, I've learned over the period of years not to ask why. Because the more, the more I ask why, is the more the why's come. Can I say that again? The more I ask why, is the more the what the why's come. So I learned to not to ask God why. He told me that loud and clear one day when I sat down after the passing of my mom and I was destroyed and I was upset. Matter of fact, God, I don't want to talk to you no more. Ooh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I talk to you concerning real life situation? I don't want to talk to you no more, God. Don't talk to me because you shouldn't have let her pass. That's my attitude. Hmm? You got a who? With who? Are you losing your coconut? <laughs> you got an attitude with God? Getting upset with God? The creed of heaven and earth? Listen, you get upset with him who can say one word and the breath leave the body in which you dwell in. Have you not heard? All flesh is like what? Grass. And like flowers. As beautiful as you see the spring is. And when the flower comes up, trust me, hold on flowers. Keep on showing off. Because mm? they're coming at a time for you, flower. <laughs> Show your daisies. Show your lilies. Show all your beauty, your roses. Yellow, pink, black, and all whatever color you want to call it. Show it all color. <laughs> Show your color. <laughs> but your time is coming. Because you shall fade away. Uh -huh. He said it. He said all flesh is what? As, as grass and as a flower faded. But here God says, I hear your cry. Mm. I hear you crying in the midnight hour. I hear you crying when you lay down to sleep. I hear you cry. I hear what you're going through. I hear for the cry of the taskmaster that's been beating up on you for a long time. Ooh. How many years? 400 years. But here it wasn't four. It was 70 years they were in exile. Mm. And they were going through the turmoil. So God spoke to Isaiah and said, Go tell my people. Comfort thee. Comfort thee, my people. Ah, I got news for you. I'm going to do some things for you 
beyond your wildest imagination. Mm. He said, what should I cry? He said, cry in the places that are the wilderness. Wilderness means it's nothing happening there. Nothing's happening in your life. So I want you to cry into those areas, and I want you to tell them that their warfare is accomplished. It's all over now because I'm going to do something beyond your wildest imagination that you have never seen me do before. I'm going to cause some valleys to come up, and I'm going to cause some hills to come down. I'm going to cause some crooked places that to make them straight, and ooh, and in rough places, I'm going to make them plain. Mm. Oh, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm the Lord thy God. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He said, uh, he said, oh, I said, and the, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Now, I want to, I want to say this. This scripture here, in the book of Isaiah, as I'm preaching it in the manner in which I'm preaching it, can be used that manner. But here he wasn't, here in the scripture he was talking to Israel. And this also is a prophetic word of Jesus himself to come. I want to make it plain. So you understand why the scripture was written in the manner it was written. Hmm. But here we are now, we're grasping it. And we understand it because here when he says, what? He says, uh. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, he was talking about John the Baptist. Uh-huh. And the question was asked, John, are you him who we look for, the Messiah? And John, and John said, no. And he said, John, then who are you? John turned to him and said, I am a voice crying in the wilderness. Make straight the wall, the, the way of the Lord, because he's coming. And when he comes, he's coming with a chaff in his hand. Now, and he, with a span in his hand, and he's going to flame it. Huh? And when he, when he comes, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, oh. I baptize you with water and repentance, but I'm going to baptize you with Holy Ghost and fire. I'm going to do something different. I'm when I come. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to change some things around. Now, here it is. <laughs> so that's what the meaning of this particular scripture is. Mm. Here it says in verse 8, I want you to walk with me. Walk with me because I'm not going to be long. I don't think I'm going to be short today. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I say that a whole lot of time, don't I? <laughs> so I started becoming a practice line. I said, I'm going to be short. I don't know what the Holy Ghost is going to do, but let, 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 let me be short. I let the Holy Ghost take it the whole time. But you see, here it is. He began to say in verse 8, he said, the grass wither it and the flower fade it. God wants us to understand. He's the kind of God that when he speaks and whatever he says, do not fall to the ground and become void. So he brought in an, an analogy to us to, for us to understand when I say something, but look at the grass, look at the flower. They stand up for a moment, and then later on they're gone. They don't stand forever. But when I say something, and I tell you, I'm going to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive it. Watch it. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. He said, my word of going out. Going out. Where unto I send it. Where is God sending his word? Where is God sending his word? Uh, and it will accomplish that I desire. Can I put a word in there? I'll put something in there. That I wanted to. He said, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. God said, check this out. See, you know the rain? The rain that falls? 
When it comes down from heaven, it do a couple of things. It water the earth. It gives seed to the sower. And it does what? Something else. It gives bread to the eater. So is my word. I've come to tell you, your warfare is accomplished. It's all over. Mm. That with the enemy had planned for you, I'm stopping him. That with the enemy wants to do to you, I'm destroying him. That with the, ooh, he said he come to kill. He come to steal. But I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. I'm the God of this world. I am the God that don't change it not. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever, and I've changed now. Oh, excuse me. Oh, why am I getting all excited like a whole lot of people? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So he said, but my word mm -hmm. of our God mm -hmm. shall stand forever. Ah, ooh, ooh. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, chill out. He said, oh, bring good tidings. Get thee up in the mountain. Come on up in the mountain. Come on up to the place of Bethel. Come on up to, to the worship house. Come on up. I'm going to do something, Jerusalem. I'm going to do something, God's people. Bring, oh, he said, bring that good, good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength and lift them up and be not afraid. Say unto the city of Judah, Behold your God, he cometh. Behold, he cometh. Hey, watch this. Behold, the Lord thy God cometh with a strong hand. And he cometh with a strong hand. And his arms shall rule for what? For him. Behold, his reward is with him. Mm -hmm. and, his, and his work shall be before him. He's going to feed his flock like a shepherd. And he's a great, and he said, gather the lamb with his arm. He's going to put them together and gather them in his bosom. I thought you were here. In his bosom. Some, some writers say, in the bosom of Abraham. Watch this. Now, and he said, and they shall greatly lead those that are with youngs. Just in case the little young one think I'm going to leave them out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead them to. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to get all excited. And with the span, I said, come, where were we at? Where were we at? Did I flip over something? No, 12. I said, I said, who had measured the waters in the hollow of the hand and measured out the heaven? I got now. I was asking a question. Who, 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 who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Now God about to pull out his boasting boots and his boasting clothes. Who? Tell me who can make the angels say, who can make the joy be ready? Who is the king of kings? Ah, tell me who. Ah, I'm going to get excited a little more. Oh, excuse me, woman. But I'm going to get excited by my seat. Ah, ah. Tell me who can stretch out the heavens. Ah, who can make the husband with it. Ah, and who can comprehend the dust of the earth in its measure. And weigh the mountain and the scale, in the scale. Ah, and the hills on, in the in the balance. Ah, who had this creek, the, the discretion, the, the spirit of the Lord, this uh, yeah, did I say? Did I say right? Directed. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Directed. Uh, the director. Sorry. <laughs> director. How is the spirit of the Lord? Who is this director? Tell me who. Hmm? Tell me who. Who is this director? Who directs spirit, the spirit of God? Who is it? Any one of us? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody can direct him? Huh? Tell me who. Tell me who. Then, and then he said here again. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, no, no, no. That whole being his counselor that taught him. He's asking good questions. I want to know who. I want to know who he is. Who, who he be. With whom did he took counsel? And whom instruct him? And taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. And show him the way of understanding. Behold, the nation are at a drop of a book. Jesus, you ain't nothing but a bucket. And the pictures are dropping a bucket. That's all you is a drop in a bucket. <laughs> Ooh. Who you think you is? Who you are? Who you? You nothing but a drop in a bucket before me. Ah. And are counted as the dust of the balance. Hmm. Behold, he taketh the eyes 
as a very what little thing. thing. Wow. 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 A little thing. The eyes is a them islands, all them little islands, as a little thing. Because you know those are the smallest things as when you talk about the earth itself. The islands are the smallest things. Them little small islands, creek, the smallest one I don't know. In the Virgin Islands, them little small islands, that's the wind go over to blow it away. Probably I wouldn't even go to some of them. Jamaica is the, big, the third biggest island in the island. That's small. Can you imagine the rest? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> huh? He took them, and they're small too. Oh, he said, all nations before, before him are nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Oh, oh. To whom then will he liken God? Oh? Or what likeness will he compare him unto? Hmm? To whom then? I'm going to skip over. 21. Then God began to say, Have ye not known? Hmm? Have ye not heard? Had he not been told from the what? The beginning? Had he not understood from the foundation of the earth? It is he that sit upon the circles of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are grasshoppers, and stretch out the heavens as curtains, and stretch them out as a tent to dwell in? Uh, had he not heard? Uh, 28, they said, had he not known? Have thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord of uh, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not? Hmm? Neither is weary, and there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increased strength. Even the youth shall faint and weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wing as eagles. They shall run. Ooh, I'm getting excited here now. And not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. Mm. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Ah. Your warfare is what? Accomplished. Oh. See, the thing about it is, when God says he's going to do it, he don't need no counsel from you. He don't need for you to go before the counsel board to ask, let me ask a question. Let me go see the Congress members of heaven. Congress members, I'm Lord God Almighty, who is, was, and is to come. I need to know, I need to release a blessing upon Sister Angela and all the congregation that is here. But I want to know, should I or should I not? <laughs> he don't need no counsel. He don't need no counsel. He don't need no director. The director. The black <laughs> He don't need nobody. The song right, what is it? God don't need no matches. He's fire by himself. Oh, God. Ooh. So if you need some burn down, just call God. He will let a fire for you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And if the ground that you're on is dry, call God. He'll put the water in it for you. Oh, Jesus. And if you got a way that seems impossible for you to cross, call God. He'll make a bridge on the bottom of the water for you. So you can walk on a bridge on the... Did I say that bridge? Yes, I said a bridge. <laughs> oh. Uh. Mm? God said I'm going to make some rough planes. What? Rough places, what? Planes. I'm going to do it. Comforting. 
comforting my people. Speaking comfortable to Jerusalem. Your warfare is accomplished. God bless you. I told you, see? <laughs> I told you, see, I was playing. <laughs> you think I was playing? I said, your warfare mm -hmm. is what? Accomplish. Let me say this, saints. When I got this message, I was reading, I was going through myself. See, sometimes they said, Pastor, you are right. You're good. You ain't got no troubles. You ain't got no problems. You're good. And when they see me, they will think that I got it locked. Me and God. So I got God on my side, so I'm good. Indeed. I'm going to say so. Because that's how I look at myself. When I was telling them on Friday night, I was in prayer, and I said to God, God, if I'm a police officer, and I walk around with a badge and a gun, and I tell someone to, to freeze, don't move, with the authority in which you've given me, that individual ought to freeze and don't move. Now, if the individual decide they're going to disrespect my office or disrespect my badge and my gun, they're disrespecting the force. And they also disrespected a leader of the force. Can I, can I talk to you? So I told God, and if I said, officer down, officer down, there's supposed to be an APB moving with people, with all the rest of the police force coming to, for my aid. Mm. And I said, I said, God, if I'm then your police officer, I'm your officer. Well, I have a distress call. Officer down, officer down. And I said, I'm calling officers down, but I don't see no officers coming at me. So that mean I'm not a police officer. <laughs> that mean I'm fake. That mean I'm phony. So I said, God, so if I'm not fake, no, I'm not phony. And I'm saying to you, God, officer down, officer down. That means I need to see the rest of the officers coming to me. See, sometimes we cry and we cry, whoa. No, can I, can I talk to you? See, but I wasn't crying, whoa. I was crying because I need to see my help. The one writer puts it in Psalms 121. He said, my help come from where? So, officer down. And I'm telling you, saints, when I cried out, I got up the morning, I went back to bed. I read my scripture, went back to bed. That's the scripture I got, Psalms 40. I mean, in Isaiah 40. I went back to bed. I woke up. I'm still looking for the officers to come to my rescue. And before, when I got up, I hear ring, 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 ring. I'm like, oh. Okay, hey God, that's the way you do it. <laughs> when I look, the things are pop, 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 pop. This is happening. I can't say it all this morning. <laughs> Money just coming in. This is happening. That's happening. I'm like, okay. Uh, that's officer down. Yeah, that's officer down. <laughs> See, so when God said your warfare is accomplished, He's not, he's not asking you. He's telling you it's over. Now, it, 
has a predication, though. And that predication is upon you believe or not believe. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. See, because if you don't believe that your warfare is accomplished, you're going to walk out in defeat. And God can't do nothing in defeat. God only can do something with expectation, which is faith. I remember this years ago, before I came here into this neighborhood. I said to my wife, I must tell this t testimony. Honey, I'm sick and tired of the ghetto. She said, so where are you going to move? I said, Wes. Okay. <laughs> that was big. <laughs> so where are we moving to? Wes. <laughs> okay. Now, you got to understand something. Here you are telling your wife you're moving west and not giving no, no di direct direction or direct understanding. You just moving west. Yep, I'm moving west. But you don't even sound like you got any sense. <laughs> I know she probably said that, even though she ain't said it out of her mouth. She said, you just, but she did say, she said, you moving west? I said, yeah, I'm moving west. She said, then we're west. <laughs> because you got to get a we're west, right? Don't you got to get a we're west? For most people, they like a we're west. Mm. Abraham, get up. Leave your family. Move out. Go west. <laughs> Woo! Did Abraham get a we're west? No, he didn't get no where west, did he? See, that's a whole, whole new word all by himself, a where west. See, he just tells Abraham, get up, pack your bag, move out, move west. He said, what? <laughs> see, something, you see, the thing about with man, they like to know too much. And you knowing too much is not trusting. Let me say it again. <laughs> Let me say it again. I, I know I said it right. You want to know too much details that's not trusting. August 14, 19. <laughs> this is the kind of, okay, put that in the calendar. Because on that date, that's the time. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Gentiles. <laughs> no bunch of Gentiles. <laughs> that's a Gentile action. <laughs> oh, oh. But shouldn't you, shouldn't you not plan, Pastor? I didn't say you shouldn't plan. So you I'm just telling you, if you trust God, and he said, go west, go west. That's all I'm saying to you. Mm. So I told her, west. She said, okay. So I went out, watch this. I went out, and I got me some barrels, and I packed. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. See, now, now the testimony is kicking off the tire. See that? <laughs> See that? This is not me. I just, this is testimony now. <laughs> oh, I love this. <sighs> See, so, so I packed. Packed everything. The only thing that was left was the plates that we was eating out of. Everything was packed. I make sure I spray the barrels that I'm putting the stuff in the eat stuff I'm putting in, I cover it down because no cockroach ain't coming with me. <laughs> uh -huh. 
I made sure no cockroach ain't getting none of my barrels because you're not coming, cockroach. Because you ain't paying on me. No one's going to help me with the mortgage. <laughs> you're not coming to antagonize me where I'm going. They go yeah, they want to go west. <laughs> well, they ain't moving with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm Lot. You're not coming with me, Lot. Lot, you're not coming with me. Lot. I, what I said, Lot, you're not coming with me. God told me to go west. What Lot is doing with you? What Lot is doing? Let me ask you a question. What Lot is doing with you? I'm bring, you know, Lot's my boy, you know what I'm saying? That's my little nephew. <laughs> They're going northwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's my little nephew, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got no daddy. I'm his daddy. I'll be his daddy for a little bit, so I'm going to bring him with me. Did God tell you to bring a lot with you? No cockroach ain't coming with me. <laughs> so we packed. Now watch this. For three long years, we packed. Wouldn't you be discouraged by now? You keep saying, we moving, we moving west. You keep saying, we moving west. We moving west. During the course of the three years, I went out. Three times looking for a property. Got denied, turned down. Watch this. I just came out of a bankruptcy. How do you expect to get anything? You just got out of bankruptcy. What's wrong with you? You dummy? You foolish? You dumb. How you gonna expect? Don't play with me. Don't play with my faith. Don't play with my faith. You're not expecting to get anything legally. You not expect to get any house when you come out of a bankruptcy. Chapter 7, you don't get nothing. You don't hear me? You, unless you're some filthy rich guy, you can buy cash. You ain't going to get no crime. Right? You don't going to get no crime. What crime? You not expect to get that. One year after the bankruptcy, I went and I bought a, a, a pre-owned van. No, excuse me, about nine months. But they said, I'm not supposed to get anything. Oh, you see how God is moving? You see how God is moving? God is elevating my faith. He's trying to show me, listen, I'm in charge. I'm going to make the rough places plain. I'm going to bring the valleys up. I'm going to take the mountains down. I'm going to make some changes. I'm the God. I'm God. If I say your warfare is accomplished, I mean it's done. And three years after, we're sitting in the house, still looking. And I'm looking out the window. I'm saying, God, I'm really tired about this. I'm done now. I'm done. I'm done now. I'm ready to move. I told my wife, listen, if we get a one-bedroom, all five of us going to be in it. <laughs> and I was not playing, too. I was serious. I said, I'm, I said, forget about buying a house. I said, forget about it. Listen, I'm moving. And we're going to live in an apartment in a one-bedroom if we have to, but we're not living no more in the get-low. We're getting out of the get-low. And worst, the worst part about it is there were some neighbors next door to me. My living God. They drive me bananas. And the day they move out, I was the happiest man in the world. I was something for joy. You would thought I had a million dollars. I was doing the, I was doing the river dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was doing the river dance. I was. I was doing the river dance. I was doing some serious river dance. <laughs> and guess what? Three months after they moved right back into the same place, I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh my! Oh Jesus! Oh, I was done. Oh, I, was just, I, was, I, I went upstairs. I told my wife, I said, I'm done. I'm done. I told her, I'm done. I am. I'm done. I said, this is a sure sign. God is telling us time to move. <laughs> God would bring some things to, for you to move, elevate your faith for you to move. Let me tell you, when the people moved back in, I went upstairs and I told her, I said, honey, you're not going to believe it. The enemy that was next door to us moved right back into the same house they just moved out of. I said, I don't know how they did it, but, but they did it. I said, that's a sign. Time for us to go. 
Let's go look for something. Let me tell you something. Long story short, we came west looking for a house with a realtor. And in the process of coming to looking for the house, we didn't find it. The house he showed us, like, really? I want to move, but not that bad. When I, when I show it to my wife, she said, honey, that's too small. I said, don't worry, I'll make it big. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you see how I am? I just want to move. <laughs> and I would throw myself at the mercies of anything just to move. But that's not God. That's not, not how God moves. That's not how God works. So in the process, we left the house where we was looking at and we rolled around the corner, not too far from where we was looking at, and looked and saw something else. And when I looked, rolled up on the house, we saw the sign. We called and make a phone call. The person said, well, it's still available. She said, what do you mean? I said, it's still available. She said, well, you know, it's still available. If you want to see it, you have to make an appointment. I said, okay, fine. I said, let me make an appointment now because I want to take a look at it. And then I hang up the phone. I looked at the door. And when I looked at the door, I said, honey, I'm going in. <laughs> she said, you're going in? Then the lady just told you, you got to make an appointment. What appointment? I'm going in. <coughs> Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Hello, how you doing? Hi, fine. Yeah. Well, I just saw your sign on the outside, and um, I, w I was wondering if the house is still for sale. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Uh, can I take a look? Yes, come on in. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. I went in. We looked at the house. The lady said, um, this house just fell off the market. The person who was going to buy it didn't get the mortgage. I said, what? I said, you know why? Because it was for me. Because God made a way for me. Yeah. In a light in a darkness. <laughs> See that? Let me tell you something. I told the lady I'll be right back. Don't move. I'm going to buy this house. We went. We put a bid on the house. We didn't even see the realtor. Mm -hmm. We saw the house ourselves. Went, called my realtor. Tell him, put a bid on that. Got the deposit. They didn't have enough money to put down. God gave me the money. I put down on the house. And by the time the, um, the appraisal came back, the appraised price, the purchase price was two fifty-seven, and when the appraisal came back, the appraisal came two thirty-seven. We have to buy the house for two thirty-seven, not two fifty-seven. God dropped it down twenty more thousand dollars. Still won't hear me. I'm gonna preach this one right here. And when He dropped it down twenty more thousand dollars, watch this. Did you hear what I told you? The price was to what thirty-seven. So what? Happened when I went to the closing, the closing says to me, You need seven more thousand dollars. I look at the closers, and the people are like, Oh, I'm so cheap, smart, don't they? <laughs> you ain't, I ain't buy no house. Yeah, I told you, cast my toenails. I'm not buying it. Give you, I'm not buying it. Give me my money back. I want my deposit. I want anything. Y'all get lost. He said, Sir, hold on a minute. What you do? I said, I'm leaving. Watch me move. They said, so hold on, hold on. We're going to work something out. I want to tell you something. The, re um, the, the, the realtor who was selling the house and the buyer gave me $7,000 to close that out. So I paid two. 30, not 237. Don't you understand what I'm trying to tell you? When God is with you, when he said he's going to what? You walk. It's a complete. God bless you, this one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See, see, you can't plan everything. You can't. You can't. Because you're in control. When you and 
child of God and you move in faith, God plans for you. Your warfare is accomplished, son. I got you. All you was going through, all that was happening to you, I was just setting you up because I wanted to do it. I wanted to bring it to pass for you. Amen? God bless. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I see you earlier. 15 minutes of testimony. Wow. I guess I'll do more testimony. <laughs> <laughs> next day, uh, next time. <sighs> Let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you, God, for your word on this morning. Your word to your people, Israel, was that the warfare is accomplished. We have received that word. We grasp that word. And we want to know our warfare is accomplished. Father, you're going to make things become the breakout and do a great exploit for us. That's why we put our trust in you. We're not putting our trust in ourselves, nor in horses, nor in princes. But we put our trust in you. You are a way maker. You are a promise keeper. You are a miracle worker. And you are our light in our darkness. Shed the light on this situation for us. Begin now to take the ministry and begin to do your work in it. Begin to touch hearts and minds that are here. And as we trust in you and as we have confidence in you to bring the things we so desire to see come to pass. Now, God, show yourself mighty. <coughs> and show yourself strong. And thank you for those who are here. We come together in fellowship one with another. And thank you for those who are on their way to come here. And thank you for the different business opportunities that you're opening up. Thank you for the school and the students and those who are working with the school. Thank you for the, thank you this morning for everything that you're doing for us in our lives. And we give you thanks and we give you praise. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand. pastor for that lovely word. And I know that each one and every one of us are encouraged and we thank him for his testimony. <coughs> when you're ready, you can come up and give your offering.
time, we're going to pray for our offering, and then we will dismiss. Father God, and I thank you for allowing, allowing us to be here once again in the presence of us. Help this one to yes. be here, Father thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank Father you. God, I thank you, Lord, for the pastor for delivering us this message this morning. Yes, Pastor. Father God, mm -hmm. I thank you for the offering that was received today and those that weren't able to give. They have received next time. Father God, I thank you in your precious name. Amen. 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 Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise God, the only wise God our, Savior, our Savior, be glory, be glory majesty, majesty, dominion, dominion and, power. and power. And let the people of God say, Amen. 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 Love Amen. someone, you are dismissed. <laughs>